So here we're in a pollinator mix, which has over 30 different species in this mix. And it gets very difficult. One thing with mixes that we have to be aware of is a lot of the species that are being mixed are both summer and winter species. And so currently we're in our summer months right now. And at this point, there's some of the species for our winter mixes that are just not gonna be present. So if you are planting high species mixes, just be aware that not every single species is going to be at its optimum growth point. So one of our other legumes that we find in some of these mixes is sun hemp. This has been a very popular legume that's been added into cover crops, food plots lately. And so it, it's another one that we still have um, difficulty identifying sometimes because a lot of people just aren't familiar with the plant itself. And so with this plant, it can get very large. So we can get upwards of seven to 10 feet even. And so one of the benefits sometimes is this can actually be good shelter for some of our wildlife. This is a legume, so it's producing quite a bit of nitrogen through its fixation process with our little rhizobium bacteria. And in a given year at full peak potential, it could actually fix upwards of about 400 pounds of nitrogen in a season. Now that's going to be different based on how tall you let the plant get, how long it's been growing. Um, the cover crops that we're currently standing in have only been growing for about a month, so we would not expect to see that 400 pounds at this point because we're still at a very short time period of its life. And when we start to look at its leaves, it has these simple lanceolate leaves that can get up to five, six inches long. There is a very fine downy pubescence coating our leaves and our stems as well. And this downy pubescence nearly gives this silvery iridescent view to our plant. So that iridescence can really be something that stands out as we look at this plant in a field. It is a legume. It's going to have very bright yellow flowers at the top as they progress. The seed head or the flower um, inflorescence is starting right here at the tip. It just has not filled out and so they have not started blooming yet. This is related to showy crotillaria. So whenever we start to look at some of our um, weeds that are very toxic to our livestock, you might see some similarities between showy crotillaria and sun hemp because they are both crotillarias. Mm -hmm.